Hi guys, it's Ben here, and after two Liverpool games against lower league opposition, the competition level is set to step up as the Reds take part in the Asia Trophy. So Crystal Palace are the opponents for Liverpool in the first of two games that they'll be playing in Hong Kong. West Bromwich Albion and Leicester are also in this tournament. The winner of the two semi-finals will face each other on Saturday in the final. There'll also be a third place playoff for the losers. This is the point of the pre-season where we might start seeing some kind of clues as to what Jurgen Klopp plans to do with this Liverpool side this season. We might see a strong side, we might see him trying out different systems. Obviously Sadio Mane isn't available still, he's staying back home to continue his rehabilitation. Emre Chan also isn't there. So some interesting things that we might learn is whether Philippe Coutinho plays on the left. Is that still somewhere where Jurgen Klopp anticipates he might play this season or will Coutinho sit in deep? Maybe Ben Woodburn might get a game on the left. And also of course will Trent Alexander-Arnold continue to be preferred in the stronger lineups or will Nathaniel Klein take his place back alongside John Matip in the Reds defence. Matip and Dayan Lovren have both travelled so that could be the centre back pairing. James Milner is there but so is Alberto Moreno so maybe we'll see someone Spaniard for the last time in a Liverpool shirt as he puts himself in the shop window. Ryan Kent has travelled so he gets another chance to impress. Shea Yodjo has not gone to Asia so maybe his move to be the Middlesbrough and Newcastle is quite close. Joe Gomez is out there with the squad there's still some uncertainty over him. Kevin Stewart is there, Lazar Markovic isn't so a few interesting decisions in there. Some players that are linked with moves are in the squad, some players have stayed back home. I think Mamadou Sacco, we all know the writing's on the wall for him. He's obviously stayed back home. The Frenchman was linked with a move to Palace, but it doesn't look like that one's going to materialise due to the asking price. But of course, with Liverpool playing Palace so early on in the Premier League season, this is their first home game, they may not want to give too much away in terms of their tactics, so we might just see 11 lads chucked on the pitch. Not too much in terms of tactics really thought about, just stick him on the pitch put any sort of formation there, get all the good players on the pitch together, make them get to know each other, but don't you know, give Frank de Boer any insight as to how they're going to set up at Anfield on August 19th. Crystal Palace have kind of had Liverpool's number of late. They've won on their last three visits to Anfield, including one at April when Christian Benteke scored twice as the Eagles came from behind to beat the Reds. That really dented their Champions League hopes, although we did get there in the end. Jurgen Klopp has, though, won on his two outings at Selhurst Park as Liverpool manager. One of those was thanks to Benteke, who won a penalty late on in March 2016 and converted it. Liverpool are, of course, favourites to win this match. They're 4-6 to six with Sky Bear with Crystal Palace at 19-5. The draws at three to one, and there is of course the possibility of penalties. This is a semi-final of a tournament. We've all of course got bad memories of that game against Manchester City at Wembley, in which we lost the Capital One Cup final. I think the most important thing to stress is to not panic if Liverpool don't win this game. As I said, we're not going to be playing on normal tactics. I would have thought things like where Coutinho plays on the left in the middle are interesting, and whether he starts Trent with the strongest team. Of course, we're all going to take some sort of interest in that, but. It's not going to be the be-all end-all. I do think it is very interesting that Trent has been given a nod alongside the stronger players so far this preseason, but whether that means he's going to play against Watford on August 12th, I just don't know. We maybe shouldn't read that much into it, but it is interesting. So I am going to have a go at predicting the 11 that Jurgen Klopp's going to field against Crystal Palace. In goal, I'm going to pick Simon Mignole. I do think Alexander-Arnold will get the nod again alongside Matip, Lovren and James Milner. Going to go for a midfield three of Jordan Henderson, Gigi Wijnaldum and Adam Milana. And then the front three, Mohamed Salah on the right, Philip Coutinho on the left, and Roberto Firmino up front. I may well, of course, be miles off of that. You know, Coutinho may well start in the middle. Ben Woodburn might get a game. A huge squad has gone out there, so I imagine Klopp will want to use as many of those 25 players as possible. He may even feel completely different sides in the first game and the second game, or he may just do 45 minutes of each as he has been doing so far. As far as the score prediction goes, I'm going to go for Liverpool 1, Crystal Palace 1, and we're going to beat them on penalties with Dominic Solanke scoring the final penalty to send us through to the final on Saturday at 1.30pm British time. So there we have it guys, that's my quick preview for the Liverpool vs Palace game in Asia on Wednesday. Leave a comment with your score prediction and whether you agree with my starting lineup. I'll be back on Wednesday with some reaction to this game. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me and follow my other socials as Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.